this is your love reading for October 8th through the 14th. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Since this is a love reading, I do recommend checking your Moon and Venus signs as well as they may resonate better for you in a love reading than your Sun sign. As always, this isn't going to resonate for every Capricorn out there. You're not all living the same lives. It's not possible. If it doesn't resonate, don't try to force it to. Just move on to one of your other signs or one of the other awesome readers on here. If it does resonate, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. I love your stories. Um, if you need help with anything, please don't hesitate to reach out. If you need a personal reading, please don't hesitate. Um, okay, so guys, pretty exciting. Um, I switched this up a little bit this week just because I was bored and I had a little more time. Um, I used to use Oracle decks a lot with, with my regular reading and I stopped just you know, to save time, whatever. Um, but I pulled out two Oracle decks this week that I haven't used in a really long time, aside from the readings I've already done. So we have the Mermaid and Dolphin Oracle that I hadn't used for about two, three years. And then we have the Harmony Angel Oracle, which I hadn't touched for about 15 years. So exciting stuff, guys. All right, let's do your Oracle first. You have... Pay attention. <laughs> Notice repetitious signs and your inner guidance as this can yield valuable information. So for me, this in a love reading is like the red flag card. It's, you know, repeated patterns. Um, make sure you're not repeating the same cycles over and over in your love life, okay? Make sure that, you know, you're not ignoring any red flags. Um, now your Harmony Angel Oracle, guys, is awesome. You have the Lotus. Look at that shit. It's awesome. That's an awesome card to get. All right, here we go. The Lotus card is innermost healing and love, and it represents the heart chakra. Legend has it that the Lotus was the first flower to beautify the earth. It is therefore considered sacred, rooted in earth, growing in water, and opening each morning to air and sun. The flower links to all four elements, and because, of it, because its mystery is hidden, it also represents quintessence and ancient wisdom. Sweet, guys. It's also a symbol of spiritual rebirth and eternity, the key to which is the love in our own heart. There are two heart chakras, and you must work on these chakras with the help of Sophia and Haniel. The green chakra represents a love of personal nature, i.e. partner, friends, and family. Perhaps this has been closed or damaged by rejection or loss. The angels help you resolve pain with forgiveness, reopening and healing the green chakra, enabling you to move to the magenta chakra. This encompasses pure universal love, which has no self-interest, but merely seeks to serve all life. When you feel universal love, you can ignite your heart's ember into a magenta flame, which soars heavenward to reconnect you with the golden ray of divine love. This love flows back to you through your heart into your innermost consciousness, opening the gateway to higher self and filling you with joy and bliss beyond imagining. Okay, guys, so awesome card to have. It's beautiful. You may be having some heart chakra issues. You may be a little closed off. Um, I'm just going to give you some of the things that I do for those issues. Obviously, meditation, obviously you know, <laughs> chakra re realignment, all that good shit. But some really easy things that you can do to open your heart chakra is just things that you love. Like, and this is going to sound really corny, but um, say you love puppies. Um, hug a puppy, pet a puppy, play with a puppy. You love babies, hold a baby. These are things that will open your heart chakra because you're not closed off to things that are innocent like that. Um, where we may be closed off to other humans because they can hurt us. We're not closed off to things that we don't see as something that can hurt us. You know what I mean? Like, if you're an animal person, your love for animals is unconditional and theirs is for you. So that's a good way to open your heart chakra is to, you know, hang out with animals, hang out with babies, whatever it is that, that you do that you love. That That's just... That's a really easy way to get your heart chakra to open. Okay. Obviously, yoga meditation is always awesome for that. So go ahead and do that. 
All right, now we're gonna get into your reading, guys. So the overall energy is always for the person that is watching the video, whether that's you Capricorn or you Cross Watcher, this is gonna be your energy. Um, everything else here is interchangeable. It can be for you or the person you're dealing with. So you have the full. This is Aries energy, doesn't have to mean anything since this is the energy that you're taking on. Um, it's taking a risk, it's taking a leap of faith. It is a brand spanking new beginning in love, okay? Um, that's awesome, that's an awesome card to get. And it's an awesome way to be. It's like, you know, you're trusting the situation, you're having faith, you're not really, you know, being scared about things, but keep in mind you do have the pay attention card here. So while you may be wanting to leap right into something, make sure that you're not leaping in so fast that you're completely blind to any red flags that are there, okay? All right, now your recent past, you have the Four of Pentacles, and this is funny that this is coming up because you have the Lotus with the Heart Chakra. Um, this, the Four of Pentacles, this guy has his heart completely covered with the Pentacle. He's so closed off that he's like, nope, you're not getting in here. It's not happening. Um, this is also your energy as well as Virgo and Taurus. Um, but this is in the past, so hopefully you know you're past that closed off energy. You're holding on to something too tightly. Your present, you have the Eight of Pentacles, and this is your energy again as well as Virgo and Taurus. So you may just be really, really focused on your money, your work right now. Make sure that um, you're not working too hard and it's affecting your relationship. I know that you're a Capricorn. That's what you do. You work hard. That's an awesome quality to have. Just make sure that it's not taking over your world. Um, and also I wanna say in a love, love relationship, this can be repeated patterns um, and you do have to pay attention to repetitive signs up here in your overall, right? So make sure that you are not repeating something over and over because that's not, it's not gonna go anywhere, right? It's just not. Repeating the same dumb shit over and over is not gonna get you anywhere. Okay, in your immediate future, you have the hanged man. Um, that's just kind of like, okay, you have this energy of, you know, I just want to do it. I just want to jump right in. But you may notice something <laughs> that kind of halts that in the future. And you're like, oh, okay, hold on. I need to take a step back. I need to just hold on for a minute, hang here in this tree, um, look at the situation from every angle, you know, make sure I'm seeing everything from every perspective um, before I take any action. So that looks like exactly what's happening here. It looks like you yourself are ready to jump right into something. Um, but there are some things here that you may not be noticing because you're just so excited to go for it, to go for this new beginning. And then something happens where you start to notice it and then you're like, okay, okay, hold on. And it's not like a complete stopping. It's just kind of taking a moment, getting some enlightenment, looking at it from every angle, making sure that, that it is okay, that it is what you want to do. That's in your immediate future, okay? Right now, in your present, you're either working a whole lot, and there's something in my eye, I'm sorry guys, um, or there's some patterns that are repeating that you need to be aware of. All right, your potential obstacle, you have the King of Wands reverse. This is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If you are dealing with a fire sign, don't. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not, I don't mean that like that. Not all fire signs. Um, if you're dealing with a fire sign that is being this King of Wands reverse, don't deal with them, okay. King of Wands upright is awesome. It's one of my favorite cards and I love fire signs, so don't take any of that the wrong way. But the King of Wands reversed is very controlling, very demanding, very narcissistic. Um, he, and it could be a she, I just say he because it's a king on the card, doesn't matter, they're not gender specific. Um, they go after what they want and they don't give a shit who's in the way. It's, you know, whatever they want is what's gonna happen. They don't care about you. They don't care about anybody else. They're all about themselves, okay? So if, as an obstacle, if you're dealing with that person, don't. And if you've dealt with this person before or someone like them, 
um, and you're not noticing these red flags, okay, let me just give you an example of one of these early red flags of the King of Wands um, behavior. So, <laughs> this is going to sound like a cheesy one, but I'm telling you, this is one of those early things that you might not think is a problem, but it is. So, say um, you have this person. They call you. You don't answer your phone. Um, you're busy, whatever, you know, no big deal. When you get back to your phone, if you haven't been paying attention to your phone, you get back to your phone, you have 72 missed calls from this person. Um, that's like King of Wands reverse behavior. It's also psycho, by the way. Um, <laughs> King of Wands behavior reverse. It's like, you're going to answer the phone. I'm going to make you answer the phone. And if you don't answer the phone, I'm going to keep calling you until you do. You might see that as like, oh, wow, they really wanted to talk to me. You know, they're really obsessed with me. Um, when really that's controlling behavior. That's it's, And it's like, it's not controlling like, you know, somebody saying you're going to do this or I'm leaving. It's, it's like, it's passive, sort of. Do you know what I mean? But that's just one of those early things that, or like people, you know, blowing up your phone, sending you 10 texts at a time. Be careful of dumb shit like that because I'm telling you that turns into some really fucked up relationship shit. Um, anyway, I just went off on a tangent with that. So let's clarify. Let's clarify the full. What is this new beginning that you want to jump into so bad? Clarify the full for Capricorn. Clarify the full for Capricorn. Whoa, too many guys. Clarify the full for Capricorn in love, October 8th through the 14th. Eight of Swords reverse. That's one that we want to see reverse, guys. It's coming out of your head. It's coming out of a mental prison where you may have felt like you were bound to a situation, trapped to a situation, trapped in your own head. You're coming out of it. So good shit. Let's clarify the Eight of Pentacles for you. What is this Eight of Pentacles all about for Capricorn? Well, that flipped over quick. The Hierophant reverse. This is Taurus energy. Um, if you are dealing with a Taurus, there may be some red flags, there may be some repeated patterns you might want to watch out for. Um, otherwise, the Hierophant reversed is like, um, it's a non-conventional way of living. It's, it's commitment, but it's not really, um, it's like not a traditional commitment. Do you know what I mean? Um, and nothing wrong with that at all. Um. It just is what it is. It's like different spiritual values, different moral values than, than you know, the normal society of values. Again, nothing wrong with that. I mean, that's kind of, that's where I'm at in my world. So no judgment. Um, but it is kind of, if you're looking for like a, a traditional commitment, marriage, kids, you know, everything that like most of the world thinks is what you're supposed to do, that's probably not what's going to happen with the person that you're dealing with. Um, if that's not what you're looking for, if you're looking for something less conventional, then you're good to go. Okay. Let's clarify the hanged man. Clarify the hanged man for Capricorn. Oh, nice. Ten of Cups in your future. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So this is awesome, guys. This is exactly what you want. Um... This is the happy ending. This is fairy tale ending, happy home life, all the love that you could possibly imagine, the harmony, everything is beautiful. So after you take this minute here to gain some enlightenment, you know, kind of just observe, figure shit out, figure out what you want to do and get yourself together, see things for what they are, then you do come to this 10 of cups here. So 
That is amazing. Just keep this reverse king of wands out of your life and you'll be good. <laughs> Let's clarify this reverse king of wands as your obstacle. Oh, wow. That's, yeah, that's too many. Sorry, guys. If they want to come out again, they will. Clarify the reverse king of wands as an obstacle for Capricorn. Guys, if this King of Wands is your energy, you might just want to reel it in a little bit. Understand that other people have their own beliefs, their own lives, you know. Okay, it's clarified by the King of Cups. Upright. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, so make sure that there's not a water sign that is being controlling, being demanding, whatever. Um... And make sure that your emotions are in balance or the other person's are. Um, you may also have two people here. Two people that want your attention that you may need to decide from. One of them is emotionally stable, emotionally available, spiritual, blah, 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 loving, compassionate. The other one's a complete asshole. All right, so pay attention, pay attention, guys or girls. All right, let's get you some advice, Capricorn. Advice for Capricorn. Okay, your advice. You have strength reverse. This is Leo energy. If you're dealing with a Leo, you don't have to be. I don't really think the signs are relevant in the advice position, but if you do, cool, roll with it. Um, for this to be an advice card, you just need to, um, you need to keep your confidence up, keep your self-esteem up, you know, know who you are. If you're dealing with somebody who's this King of Wands person reverse, that's controlling, demanding, you need to be strong against that person. You can, Don't let anybody do that shit to you, um, okay? And you have the Ten of Swords reverse as an advice card. Um, this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Again, I don't think it's relevant, but whatever if you do. So, upright, if you look at it, the guy's on the ground with all these swords above him. This is crisis, it's defeat, it's betrayal, tragedy, a guy's probably dead. It's one of the worst cards that you could have. And I don't mean that to scare you. I just, just be aware. Um, as an advice card, it's reversed. You need to, there's some kind of crisis, some kind of defeat that you need to heal from. Okay. Um, now it is a 10, which means it's not going to get any worse. The worst is already past you, but there is some healing that you need to do um, to get your confidence back. Do you know what I mean? Okay, do we need to clarify anything else, Caps? I think so. Um, I'm going to get you another advice card. Give me one more advice card for Capricorn. One more. Oh, that was quick. Yeah, and there's two. Okay, we'll take them both. All right, so the first you have the Six of Pentacles. Make sure whatever situation that you're involved in, in your love life, everything is equal and balanced, that you and the other person or persons are putting in the same amount of effort. Make sure that it's not out of balance, all right? And make sure somebody isn't using you for your money. Um, just make sure there's equal give and take. And you have the Nine of Cups. This is wish fulfillment. So whatever it is that you want, you can have know that you can have your wish you can have your wish fulfillment you just have to heal from whatever bullshit happened to you get your heart chakra back in place you know do what you need to do pay attention to any red flags don't repeat any cycles keep the vision in your head of how you want your life to look in it you know as far as love and you'll get there all right this is wish fulfillment okay all right guys take care i will talk to you in a week